Today I want to talk to you about parallel compression and what it is. So back to the basic video that I did, we have our medium temp compressors here, it goes through a gas cooler condenser and then into the high pressure valve. This high pressure valve really controls this gas cooler or condenser. And check out that video if you want to learn more about that, that previous video. And then as well as we have this bypass gas, which bypasses the gas in the system to maintain a constant pressure in this flash tank receiver because you always want good quality liquid going out to those medium temp and low temp cases. So we will size this rack or manufacturers will size this rack to handle this bypass load. So that is really doing not any useful work. We're just bypassing 20, 30, 40, 50% of the system load to maintain a good pressure in here. And with parallel compression, I'll give you a good example here. Say you design this uh, basic booster system with three Copeland semi-hermetics, four MTLS, 15 horsepower. We'll say three of them. And you need three of them because of all that bypass gas. If you went with parallel compression, instead of bypassing this gas back into this medium temp suction, you will bypass this gas into a separate compressor, like an interstage compressor. And now, instead of designing this rack with three 15 horsepower Copelands, you could potentially design it with one five horsepower and then two 15 horsepower. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Because now, instead of wasting all that energy going back into this uh, medium temp suction, now it's useful work. And let's take a look at the, the enthalpy diagram here. So right here. So if we take a look at, at it here, we take a look at the medium temp compression right now. We have one to two, and this would be the three 15 horsepower compressors. Because we're taking all this load from the flash gas. Here's your high pressure valve, dropping it out of the transcritical range, and we'll get back into the subcritical zone. Here's our flash, our flash tank, or receiver, and then here's our bypass right here. So we're bypassing all this at, we'll say, 34 Fahrenheit, and then we have to drop it down to get into that medium temp suction. But with parallel compression, instead of bypassing it, then dropping it down to that 20 Fahrenheit, say 400 PSI, we will now go from here, which is 10, and we will use the parallel compressor to pump and do useful work. We'll be pumping from, you know, say 34 Fahrenheit instead of going down to 20 Fahrenheit. Amazing, amazing stuff. If you worked on any CO2 systems with parallel uh, compression shoot something in the comments box i want to hear about it. what do you think about it how does it work what do you like about it let's get a conversation going